this super sketchy thing happened to my parents and I've honestly been debating sharing this because it's not my normal content but it's one of those things that like I wish someone had warned me so I could warn them um, ahead of time and so wanted to create this video to warn you folks out there if you are a boomer or maybe you have boomer parents or aunts and uncles um, please 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 like pass this on like watch this video share the information um, and I would love to hear if this has happened for you and like what came of it right so my parents are both in their 70s both super super active fairly healthy um, and you know just like average people in their 70s right in the United States so anyway they've been getting all these phone calls separately from their insurance company their health insurance company and their health insurance company has been pressuring them to schedule a caseworker to come to their home to do like a well check um, which is suspicious, right? So my dad immediately thought it was a scam and he's like, no fucking way. Like, no, like, and just kind of hung up on them. Um, my mom, however, he, she must have gotten someone who was a little more aggressive because the way they presented it, it was as if like there was no opting out, right? And so my mom, you know, like, likes to do things by the book, likes to follow the rules. And so, you know, if this is the rule, then she was like, okay, cool. I guess I, I guess I will schedule this appointment for someone to come to the house. Um, so she schedules, but then she never hears anything else. There's no, um, confirmation email. There's no confirmation text messages. There's no reminder text messages, nothing. And so she mentions it to my dad and he's like, Oh, I got a similar phone call. I thought it was a scam. My mom was like, well, I haven't heard anything. So it must be a scam. Like, yeah, there we go. And she kind of like wrote it off. Um, until the night before the day she had scheduled this for, she gets a text message from, I think it's Blue Cross Blue Shield, um, saying, we're confirming your home visit tomorrow, um, blah, 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 blah. Like, no way to contact Blue Cross. Like, she tried responding and, like, it didn't go through. It was one of those, like, like send only text messages um, or numbers. And so, you know, she's panicking panicking she, she'd made other plans like she forgot about it she thought it was a scam she wrote it off um and so then she didn't sleep at all that night I feel so bad for her um and then the next morning she got up and she immediately called her insurer and was, you know went through all of the rigmarole with like press nine press this press that whatever um and was finally able to get someone on the phone to cancel this home check right and they they like negotiated with her to do a zoom home care check, whatever. And so anyway, so we had dinner with friends that night and we were sharing, she was sharing this with us and our friends shared this, like, I'm going to call it a theory, uh, because I don't want any legal ramifications from sharing this if it's not true, but it's like, eh, it sounds legit. Um, so she had this theory that insurance companies are doing this to older folks right now because they want to go and document things that they see in the home that could be the grounds for denying coverage in the future. You heard me right. Um, everything from counting the pills in your prescription bottles. Um, she had a friend who had one of these well checks by a caseworker with her insurance company and this is what they did. They opened up every single prescription bottle that she had and they counted every single pill. What we're assuming here is that like they're checking to see how many pills were in the bottle, how many should have been in the bottle based on when the prescription was last filled, and then trying to figure out if they missed any days. Because if you miss days and you're still alive and you're still healthy, maybe you don't need the medication after all. Maybe they can deny coverage for that medication in the future. Um, so anyway, I don't know what else they're looking for. Um, it's super sketchy. It's really weird. And if your parents or your family members who are older or anything like my parents and they want to follow the rules and they want to check the boxes, um, please warn them about this. They do not need to schedule with a caseworker to come to their home. Absolutely not. It is not a requirement for their insurance coverage. Absolutely not. So they are allowed to say no. Um, share this with anyone you know who um, could fall victim to this. And if you have any experience with this kind of shady stuff with insurance companies, then please, I want to hear it. I want to hear all about it. Please share it in the comments 
or if you're not comfortable sharing publicly, then just DM me. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I just, I hate it. I hate it when our parents are made to feel like they are doing something wrong when they didn't do anything wrong. And I hate how companies are constantly looking for a way to screw people over these days. Um, I understand there's an importance to cutting costs, but cutting costs at the, at the, cutting costs at the peril of your customers, your loyal customers who've been with you for a long time and, and are paying you for their own health and wellness. Uh, not cool, not cool at all. Anyway, um, I don't know how to sign off because this isn't my normal like ADHD business building stuff. So bye.